vast forest, where tall trees danced to the whispers of the wind and sunlight peeped through the dense canopy, there lived a curious fox named Milo. Milo was known for his adventurous spirit and his knack for exploring every nook and cranny of the woods. One bright morning, while darting through bushes and leaping over fallen branches, Milo stumbled upon a hidden clearing. In the heart of this glade stood a magnificent oak tree, its branches stretching out like open arms. But what caught Milo's eye were the colorful flowers encircling the base of the tree. They shimmered like jewels in the sunlight. As he approached, Milo heard a soft, melodic hum. Curious, he peered closer and discovered a group of tiny, winged creatures, fairies. They were fluttering around, tending to the flowers with delicate care. Hello there. Milo greeted them, his eyes sparkling with wonder. The fairies, surprised by the unexpected visitor, paused and exchanged curious glances. But soon, they welcomed Milo with warm smiles. They explained that the flowers were enchanted and held the magic that kept their home alive. However, the flowers were starting to wither, and the magic was fading. Determined to help, Milo offered his assistance. He roamed the forest, gathering dewdrops and sunshine, following the fairy's guidance to revive the enchanted flowers. With each drop of dew and ray of sunlight, the flowers regained their brilliance. Grateful for Milo's help, the fairies invited him to a joyous celebration under the oak tree. They danced and sang, and Milo joined in, his heart brimming with happiness. Word of Milo's kindness spread throughout the forest. Animals from all corners gathered around the oak tree, celebrating the restoration of the enchanted flowers. The once fading glade now shone brighter than ever. From that day forward, Milo became a beloved friend of the forest. He continued his adventures, spreading joy and fostering harmony among the creatures of the woods. And whenever he passed by the oak tree, he would always smile, remembering the magical day he met the enchanting fairies. <laughs>